Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing volume two of a video I did a couple months back all about products that I was upset that I liked. This could be anything from the shade range of a product to the price of a product to mostly the price of a product or the availability of a product. So before we jump into these one, two, three, four, five, six products, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos. And if you haven't and you'd like to, I really hope you will consider subscribing and the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. I'm loving like this simple like kind of pinup look that I've got going on. I just had the base from my speedy 10 minute makeup tutorial and then I just added a red lip and a wing. That's it. Very simple. Love it. So let's go ahead and jump into these products. So the first product I'm upset that I liked because I bought it on sale and uh, probably not going to be able to get it on sale again, but I really enjoy it and I'm working my way through it fairly fast. And that's the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This thing retails for $52, $52, and I picked it up during the Sephora 20% off sale, so I paid $36 for this. $36 is still a lot for a primer. <laughs> yes, but I love this primer. I am so upset that I ended up loving such an expensive primer. It not only feels like a beautiful moisturizer, it actually blurs pores. And it actually is a great primer. It works, it works amazing under all of my favorite foundations. Oh my god. Ah, I'm so upset. <laughs> Why? So anyway, like I said, I don't know if I could pay full price for this. My next goal is going to be to find a dupe. I do know e.l.f. just came out with something that's kind of similar to this. So I'm definitely going to try and pick that up for my full face of e.l.f. coming up. Because I think it's a new product. It's supposed to be a primer very similar to this one, but I'm upset that I like this so much. Why? The next product that I was really upset that I ended up loving, and it's because of the shade range, or more likely, or more aptly said, the amount of people that can actually get full use out of this palette, and that's the Hourglass Ambient Light Editing Unlocked Palette. So, first looking at this online, I did a full video on comparing this one to the other holiday palette. I'll throw that up in the cards if you are interested. But first looking at this online, I thought it was going to be too dark for me. And I was kind of hoping it would be too dark for me. But I can use every single one of these shades. And I can use almost every single shade in the pink palette as well. So that being said, a very small range of people can actually get full use out of these palettes. And that really disappointed me. If you're going to go through the trouble of releasing two palettes, couldn't you have just made one for darker complexions or made one for lighter complexions? I really think there should be three. And they shouldn't be limited edition. Make them permanent. Make them like this one where you've got shades that are new and just in that palette. Make one for very fair, make one for medium, and make one for deep. And make them permanent. Make them permanent. Like, if Hourglass did that, you know how much like money they would make if they just had because these are amazing powders it's a great formula they look amazing on and they last really well why can't they do better when it comes to their shade range God, I'm, I'm getting worked up but i love this palette to death and I, I feel bad part of me feels bad because i know not a lot of people can actually get full use out of it that and it's also very expensive they're like 80 dollars each the next product that I'm actually very upset that I ended up loving is a it's a lotion. So it's not as actually a makeup product. And this is from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I just love this scent. I haven't loved a lotion scent this much since I found like my original like Bath and Body Works aromatherapy favorite scent. It just like I'm not even someone who likes summer. And this smells like all the good parts of summer. Oh, I don't use it like as a full body lotion. I love using this on my legs, like underneath the knee. I love using it there. And then I love it as a hand lotion. This is expensive. And because I love the scent so much, I've looked into getting like the shower gel and some of the kits, but every time I go online and I look at it and I put it into my cart, I, I can't. They're just so expensive for things that I know I don't need. I just love the scent. 
this is a little mini that I got and it, the minis are expensive too but I got it and I've been like rationing it out I've had this for a while because I don't want to finish it because once this is done and once this cute little sample that I got is done I don't know if I'll buy another one they're so expensive huh but like the shower gel it's like uh, I don't know what this scent is but if I could just bottle just the scent and have like a little perfume spray bottle why does it smell so good moving on to a beauty tool that I was actually upset that I liked and this is a sponge this is the black teardrop sponge from AOA the shop miss a brand and I'm upset that I liked this because this is an amazing perfect sponge when I clean it this is I've used it this dozens of times and I clean it and the foundation actually comes out it doesn't stain as badly as some of my other sponges do it's only a dollar it's incredible but unfortunately now everyone knows how amazing it is and it's always sold out I cannot get another one of these for the life of me and I wanted to replace all of my sponges with just this one because I could it's only a dollar I wanted like normally I have one two three four five six seven eight I have nine sponges so that I can use sponges for about a week without having to reuse them and then I wash them all on the weekend and then you've got clean sponges I wanted to get like ten of these for ten dollars and just use those but it's sold out and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for it to come back into stock and I am so upset that I can't find it I love this little sponge so much it's literally the perfect sponge for a dollar like ugh. I mean it is amazing that the only thing that I don't like about this is that I can't buy it anymore <laughs> I want this sponge so bad I just want a bunch of them I want a little army of these sponges okay I'm done <laughs> but I am currently on their email list like waiting for that to come back in stock so like the minute I get the email saying it's in stock I'm buying 10 hey guys editing Monica here after waiting weeks and weeks for the sponge to come back in stock literally two days after I film this video I got the email back in stock so I did order 10 of this sponge and as of the day before this video is posted it is still in stock on the shop miss a website so I would highly recommend you go ahead and jump on this and pick up this amazing one dollar sponge oh I, I cannot say enough good things about this sponge I'm literally replacing every sponge in my collection with this sponge i honestly don't know how long it's going to be in stock so i still will say with a grain of salt that if you do love this sponge so much it might be a bit difficult to replace it when you do need to replace it if it does go back out of stock the same way that it did when i first fell in love with the sponge the next product that I'm upset that I liked. I did this in the first volume. I talked about a very expensive mascara that had no right being that good. Here's another mascara. Not as expensive as the Chantecaille one because that one is just ridiculous. But whenever I come across a higher end mascara that I like, I get upset because you can only use them for a couple of months and then you have to throw them out and there's really no reason to buy expensive ones because there are so many great affordable options out there but this one i love to pieces and i'm finally done using it it hit its three month mark so it's done this is the urban decay perversion mascara i don't know what it is with the formula that is amazing along with this perfect fluffy brush right here it's the perfect size for my eyes it's fluffy enough to grab all of my lashes and fan them out it doesn't weigh down my lashes so they do spread out and look nice throughout a day I never see transfer with this I can't say enough good things about this but the full size is expensive I got this in like a kit but oh my god I don't think I could go through and just buy a full-size expensive mascara like that I'm pretty sure inside like my sample basket I have a miniature version of this so if anything I could just go use that mini but why is this so expensive and why is it so good I just I get so upset whenever I see a higher-end mascara like actually perform really well now for the last product that I'm very upset that I like this is an affordable brow gel now I love everything about this brow gel except for the shade 
This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara. This is super affordable, it was only a couple of dollars. The spoolie, let's see, right there. The spoolie is a nice size, it's not too big for your brow. It gets just the right amount of product on there. I am wearing it today, but it doesn't come in the shades that I want or need. <laughs> they have like a dark blonde, an auburn, I got the dark brown shade right here, and it is a little too light for me. So by the self, by the self, by itself, this is too dark for me, or too dark. Can I speak? So by itself, this is too light for me to use on my brows. I've been trying to get around that by using like extra dark brow product and then putting this on top of it, just kind of evening it out, but it still doesn't look perfect. But this holds all my brow hairs into place throughout the day. It's the closest affordable dupe to the ABH brow gel that I've found, but this does not come in clear and this does not come in black. I desperately wanted this in black. It would have been like my holy grail if it came in black. It would have been my holy grail if it came in clear, but it doesn't. They have a different clear brow gel that's not this formula and it's garbage. It's absolute garbage. I'm so upset <laughs> that this doesn't come in the right shade. So all I can really do is try to make it work because I actually really love this formula and I keep reaching for it even though I know the shade isn't perfect. So those are more products that I was so upset that I ended up loving as much as I do. Let me know down below if you've ever experienced this with a product and if you have what product it was and why you were so upset. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.